Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We have just met Tyrell again and we're about to head further into the facility to we'll track vaccine up ahead. Nikolai. And Carlos is somewhere in here apparently. So we shall see. Right, this room reminds me of Resident Evil the film, where the, the red lasers come in. Why can't I run? Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Oh, he's gonna die. He is gonna die. Oh, come on. Not what I want to be seeing right now. He's always there. That door is not going to stop him either. Get the vaccine. Okay, so this place has already been overrun. That's cool. Locked. Okay. Okay, this one's unlocked. Aha, thank you. Nest 2 employee regulations. The objective of the T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which, which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the, the need for the T-Virus vaccines, a new weapon capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is important imperative that all employees adhere to the workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge a new and revolutionary technology. that way I'm gonna get that out so I can create a herby herb put that away I've only got one gunpowder which I'm not gonna use do I take the grenade launcher with me or not I want to say no not yet Oh, you're dead. Shoot you in your ass, boy. I'm gonna take that as long enough for me to get whatever's in here and run. So I can't go in there. Can't go in there. Okay, let's go this way. You got anything on you? Oh, I can hear one of those no, doll things. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Am I supposed to be able to see this? I 
I can hear it, but I definitely cannot see it. I must be able to get around that side at some point. I must be able to see it from that little room there. Alright, let's see what we got. Gunpowder. A dead body. I'm hoping a dead body that doesn't come back to life. Right, what have we got over here? We have a lot of stuff. Hello. Don't come back. Override key successfully generated. Oh. What are we here? Override key removed. Okay, so we have an override key. I think this is what that thing meant by having a key and keeping it on you at all times. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. I do not have synthesis. A chamber. I have to make it myself. Oh. <sighs> all right. Essay on vaccine synthesis. It's the most efficiently synthesized the vaccine, both an antigen and an ad adjuvants are required. The antigen produces uh, an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effect of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining the samples of the two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our prop proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccines can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant sample yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This is not only this not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Someone's a big boy. So I can go downstairs and go to that room. Now I've got this override key. Just gives me access to different areas of the facility that are previously locked, including this this door here. I don't know if it stays in there or it, it just pops out. Now it just pops out. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I shot him three times on the head, shoulder, knees, and toes. You can stay down, bitch. Stay down, bitch. I don't like how fast they run. It's kind of creepy. Especially this one. I might just shotgun you. Oh my word. That's definitely those dead. Let's 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 say that. Shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis. Okay. C D G J F K R C. So it's going from somewhere to somewhere to Raccoon City. All transit within the United States is to be made by a helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We are at the European branch here excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation on this newest prototype and I'm pleased to offer the specimen to you for testing it has been through numerous trials and processes incredible destructive power and possesses incredible destructive power so please exercise extreme caution when using lead developer dr. Herman Franklin well thank you for that sir greatly appreciated Please die. Thank you. I'm glad they're one hit with a magnum. Just saying. I'm going to mix these two and use one of them. Thank you. We've got gunpowder. Have you got anything? No. Nope. No, sorry, Bob. No, you don't. Oh, we've got acid rounds. Okay. I don't think I can create acid rounds. Can I? Oh, maybe it's B and B to create acid rounds. That may be a thing. This must be what powers it. Oh god. 
Come on, bro. Off you pop. Anything around here? Oh, yes, there is. I will take a first aid spray. So I'm assuming I've got to push this back in. For what, I do not know. Yeah, open the door. Where am I going? I don't even know. Jesus Christ. Uh. See, before I even enter that room that has numerous friggin' hunter baiters to the left and what I think are... I don't know what to the right. I'm gonna get this from you first, though. Scientist's dying message. It happened. Our worst case scenario, the T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders of Dr. Bard, I am to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I am prepared to culture the T-virus antigen, and now I just need to combine it with the adjuvant and enhance its effects. And I shall be able to produce enough vaccine to save all of the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in an incubation lab. Test subjects have already wandered the halls, wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak is the least we can do after setting those horrifying events in motion. What a lad. Thank you for setting it in process, sir. That is greatly appreciated. I didn't go up here, did I? So, what to be up here? The mysteries we do not know. Please tell me you're both dead. Weaponry authorization request. Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfer interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team re refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but this spe uh, specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate make it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. Any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully unprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that the high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. So what is this weapon then? Oh, I will take that. Is that the base sample? Well, there's only one left, so that's kind of useful. Culture sample. Okay, so that's the... I'll definitely need this for vaccine. Woman. Get wrecked. Oh, so I can do it from this side. Lucky boy. Is that it? Yeah. So what's this weaponry that they're on about then? What the hell? Please tell me I did not miss. I apparently missed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this way. Wait, you're telling me there's something else in there that I can collect. Okay. What I'm going to do is create as much shit as I can. I'm going to take that out because I feel like I have enough pistol ammo as long as I can... Yeah, I'm gonna mix that with that. I'm gonna uh, put that away. Mix that with that to get the max there. I'm gonna put that away because I've only got three three rounds left. I'm gonna put that away. Uh, I'm gonna take this out. Just because I think I know what's coming up. So 
So let me... That's not what I wanted to do, Jill. So which one creates more room in here? I'm going to keep acid round on me, but I'm going to take a set of mine rounds as well. Okay. I am prepared for a fight. I am prepared. So what is up? What's in here that I haven't collected? There's something in here that apparently I haven't collected yet. But I'm confused that because... You cheeky son of a bitch. I don't have any explosive A or B to, to combine that with, so I'm just going to chuck that straight into storage. I may as well. My controller really is dying on me. I'm going to chuck that away. I feel like I have too much on me. I'm going to put a pack of flame rounds away just so I've got... I have enough there just in case, but... I'd rather have... Can I put that culture sample into here so it gets rid of a space? If so, that'd be grand. I haven't been through there yet either. Can I put this into here just so I can make a space? Unauthorized materials detected. No, I can't. Got this wrong or Brilliant. Missing a step. So what's out here then? Oh, nothing. That's where I need to go. Okay. So I need to go down and round again. So yeah, that's literally the last thing I can do is go through that corridor. Which doesn't seem very friendly. So I've got flame rounds, explosive rounds, mine rounds, and acid rounds. I've got 75 pistol bullets. And I've got 26 shotgun shells. Wait, it's downstairs, isn't it? I'm prepared for a fight, my friends. If those things want to break out those cages, I'll let them break out the cages. Come at me. Come at me. What are you going to do? I mean, I really don't like the look of them. These are tyrants. That's what Mr. X looks like. Not that one. Jesus. Is this where they're made? These all look alive. What the hell's this? Whatever it is, I don't wanna know. I don't really want to go down here, but we can't really go anywhere else. I thought he went down. That's awkward. That'd be awkward. I see a box. Out of the way. Really, dude. Oh god. I really haven't got time for fucking three of these things. How did all four of my bullets miss? Holy shit. What on earth? Oh, I haven't got time for this. You sons of bitches. Haven't got time, bro. Oh my god. There better be shotgun shells somewhere around here, I swear to god. Oh my word. There's just so much shit. Explosive A and B. Okay, so there's the extra flame rounds. That's cool with me. 
There's gunpowder. There's apparently something in here. Oh, which I don't have room for. Brilliant. Expression of concern. Please follow. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement on the field of bioweapon research, introducing a, parasit a parasitic organism into the tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established Umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a, a dangerous pre precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried to vein and develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think that they will submit to control is utterly folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy anti-mobiles with no brakes, but in here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you having a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk from the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you first cited, foisted upon us. So it's called the Nemesis. Dun dun dun. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm tempted to get rid of the gunpowder. Just so I've got enough room to get. Yeah. So I don't have to come back for this. It's so annoying that I can... Why didn't I think of that before? I thought I had to have another space for it. That's that's annoying. That's annoying. I have a feeling though that shit's about to hit the fan. And I am gonna get fucked by something. I swear to god. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, fucking you it. Two of them? Are you taking the pits? I have to get my grenade launcher off of these. I can't. Jill. Don't tell me there's another one. There's another one. Oh my word. Of course, three of them had to come out. Imagine if all five came out. Jesus. Imagine if all five of those came out. Oh my word. Holy shit balls. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh wait, I can put this sample in that room, can't I? Uh, was it this way? Well, first things first, I'm going to go to the box. I'm going to go in here and sort out this shit show of a bloody, bloody box. So I'll just take those out. I'll take, what, 15 of those out? So I've got full uh, flame rounds. I know I've got more, so don't hide them from me. Okay. So I've got 10 flame rounds, a lot of shit on me, I'm ready for another fight. I am ready for whatever shit you want to throw at me. I'm hoping this works. Is it another one of those where you have to get it in in the mid. Oh, that's close. There we go. Mid, high, low. 
some shit's gonna happen though, isn't it? Ooh, it's bright purple. Oh, what's gonna happen now though? Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. Of course it caught up to us. Escape the facility. I mean, that would be the best idea, yes. That would be the best idea. Jill is to escape. Oh my god. He just knows. Do it. So is Nikolai making this creature fight me? Oh god. Nikolai said he wants to instigate more encounters, so I'm assuming he's kind of leading it towards me, or the just Nemesis knows where I am. One of the two. In a bizzle, my foe shizzle. Well, would you look at that? A perfect opportunity to end. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Oh my word, hello boys. Let me quickly sort all of this stuff out. I'm going to put everything away just so... Actually, do I have gunpowder? Yes, I do. I'm adding that with that to make shells, put those away, put those away. I don't know if I need to keep the vaccine on me right at this moment in time. Um, what if I put it away? I can't store it, I need to keep it on me. Uh, put away everything. Uh, I'm going to take... Make sure I've got full ammo. Shotgun full, handgun full. Obviously, I've got my, my weapon. Do I keep the knife? Or is that a waste of space at the moment? I'm going to keep it on me. I'm going to take two first aid sprays. It's just what do I do <laughs> with this? Do I take flame rounds or acid rounds? Uh, I'll take flame just because I've got four of them. But I think that is going to be the end of this episode. I'm assuming you know what is going to happen in the next. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Cheers for watching, guys.